Hello fellow beings of Middle Earth and welcome back to the Whale of Darwinian campaign. This is the sixth episode and today we are going to face off some of these burgers over here, the Olag High. We are currently attacking Irs Estolad and we're just going to rain hell upon these forces. Just give them some bolts into their faces. These orc archers we should also bring down of course. Let's just give them hell. So I want to show this uh, battle because of course we have the Oleg High here which is going to be interesting to see. Of course we have seen them in a lot of other campaigns but still it's really interesting to see them once again. They're always really interesting. Uh, it looks like these guys are actually kind of walking out over here. Let's just bring these guys forth. And let's bring up the cavalry. So now I want to hear your opinion in the comment section. What is your favorite unit from Darwinian? Because there's a lot of choices to choose between when you are Darwinian and your favorite unit because of the human elven choice. So I think we should actually, yeah. Like we could actually bring down a hole over here as well. I think I'm going to do that. Bring down the wall over here and just be able to go right through here and just massacre these units. Oh yeah, these guys are actually just standing outside. The Rook Bodyguard is is actually just running out over here. So we're just going to surround them with a Thorn Guard. These guys, I guess, could... We don't really need you at the moment. We could charge these Orc Raiders still. Let's see how these guys are just standing here alone. These guys are not really firing. Maybe they will get some kind of angle right now. But this is kind of the perfect map, map for crossbows. Just look at the... Yeah, a lot of them get these straight shots. Even though the walls is taking off some of the damage, they will still get a lot of kills, I think. But we kind of want to start targeting the Olokai, of course, because they're going to be the pain in the ass. And to deal with the Olokai, we only have like one unit which is proper for them, and that's the Thorn Guard, because they're armor piercing. But except for that, we don't really have a lot of choices. Uh, we actually do want them to go over here. We can just uh, massacre them with our crossbows. Let's send these guys over here. And you guys can just keep fighting the orc archers. All of you can probably just run over here very quickly and aid in this situation. So I hope all of you have been checking out my lore video. It's about Denethor and how he was a little bit incorrectly displayed or incorrectly displayed in the movies. And I use a lot of time on that, so I would very much appreciate it if you would check it out if you haven't. Let's just bring down these burgers now. The orcs really just fuck themselves. Alright, sorry for language. Uh, let's try to... Yeah, they're going to be slaughtered by these crossbows. Crossbows are so overpowered uh, once you have the time to use them. But they are very slow. Just look at this massacre. But they are very slow to use, of course. Because they use so long to reload their stuff and sh such. So that's the disadvantage they have. Uh, we might get some friendly fire over here, it looks like. Yeah. It might actually be wise to just use... Oh, actually, these guys can try to hit the orc archers. You can just go right here. And you can just keep firing into this blob. We should save some of these arrows for the Oleg High, though. I think we're going to use Nukva on the Oleg High already, actually. But this force is very crossbow heavy. So, today, I did actually bring down Tharband. So, we are going to head for Morigos. And once that is taken... There's very not that much to worry about, to be honest. We just have to go two separate ways with our two large armies. The Black Gate and Minas Morgul. These guys are getting shredded for some reason. Wow, we're actually getting friendly fire on these guys. I didn't uh, realize that. So you actually want to make sure you watch out for that. Uh, this Urk bodyguard is standing the, the opposite way. That's really, really good. I think we're actually going to stop these guys now. It looks like we're getting a lot of friendly fire. Same with these guys. And you just start hitting the Olokai. 
And let's just speed up this process a little bit. You guys hit here as well. We don't actually have a lot of uh, infantry in this force. But you guys can, yeah, hit the Olukai. Let's bring these guys forth over here as well. Olukai will fall swiftly to crossbows if you have a lot of them. Right, we are probably winning over here. And now it's just about giving them all the arrows we can before we go inside the city. Let's just drop the ram and let's just not in Shinro, let's just hold them over here. It looks actually like uh, these guys are coming out though. So we want to be a little bit careful here. Yeah, they're actually coming out so we just want to hit them with these guys. If they come out, let's just hold them right there in guard mode. Oh yeah, that was not supposed to happen. Let's try to get you on the side. Now we just gotta hit these guys instead. That was unfortunate. I really wanted to just stand on the side here. And then we could just shoot them in the rear. But yeah, that's how it is now. Let's get these guys a little bit closer. You guys can stand right here. And we have you over here. Let's do that. But you see the Olukai is already blooded up. Nurva's bodyguard is very useful in this campaign, no doubt about it. Let's just fire on all the Olukai with all the units we can. But this is not an ideal matchup for these guys, they have a lot of armor, yeah. But they will still do pretty well, they are a good unit of course. Over here we are winning as well. And the general is still alive here somewhere. And this is not ideal because we now have been pushed inside but the unit is not that good, it's, it's fine. But if we place these guys right here maybe we can get proper nice shots. These guys are just standing here taking these shots. Ah, the other guy is now coming in. This is going to hurt, definitely. Let's use these guys. And we're just going to fire straight into them now. Look at this. I think we need to bring these guys out a little bit. Get a proper angle. These guys are already having a nice angle. Ah, oh, they're actually going to the gate, it looks like. But the best way to deal with Olukai is with bolts and armor piercing, of course. So units like for Gondor, Lossanak Axeman, perfect unit, or basically the Lebanon Marines, even better. You have a lot of choices though. Let's just put these guys here again. We're just going to massacre them once they... Once we breach into the city. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. And we have actually taken the gate over here now. now. Is there any Uruk? I don't see the Uruk bodyguard at this point. Just hit these guys. Get rid of them and you guys can just keep going here. I guess we could use Lurva as well. He's not too bad in melee of course. Let's just bring them over here. Hit the Orc Raiders. There we go. And we're ready to breach in with these guys once it's necessary. So the plan forwards, like, we are going to conquer Mordor pretty fast. And from that point on, I have not decided what we're going to do, but... I really want to bring out a lot of elites and just make a large army like I just did in the Erebor campaign. And just... March over everything we got. Uh, that we face. I think that's going to be interesting. Let's surround these guys. We don't want to lose Nurv here, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. But we could send in these guys just in case. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we're not going to capture the town center now. Now we're just going to let all of our crossbows do some hits on these Ologs. Alright, let's 
bringing these guys first. These guys can just stay here and guard. You guys can just go up here. Actually, go right here. Ludwig can just stay here. And the other forces will just stay here as well. But these, the general is still not dead. And now we're just marching all of these guys. And that should end them pretty quickly. Let's hope these Oluks don't charge right in here though. Good tidings. The enemy general, general goes down dead. at least. This region is very wealthy by the way. We're going to bring in so much money and our money is already skyrocketing. I'm almost tempted to buy settlements of factions. Oh yeah, this is going to hurt for these Oluks. Let's just hold them there and just bring them down with everything we got. These guys can go around and take the town center. Oh yeah, they actually have they actually have a couple of units left. But yeah, you see they're falling pretty fast now because of all these bolts. Only eight left at this point, which is pretty little for these Olokai. They will fall pretty swiftly at that point. I'm not going to send in Nurve though. Yeah, they're falling apart. And if we capture now, they might actually go back to the town center. Yeah, it's only this one Olog left. Let's see if we can bring him down. There we go. Wonderful. Now I can just send in these guys and finish the job off. And that's going to be it. Yus Estolat is now ours and Mordor is surrounded on all sides. They are, clear victory. they are basically going to get hammered between us and Gondor at this point. Yeah, you see the Thorn guy did pretty well and the Morikandi Sentinels, of course. Nurve, yeah, so useful. Is this... What is this? Is this... Uh, Balinthul? I'm not sure. I don't exactly re remember how it is um, described in the books. I'm going to read uh, Lord of the Rings books this summer once again. I'm reading it every summer. I've read Lord of the Rings like seven times now. And still I miss out on these small niche details. We We're going to exterminate so that we can just leave a couple Our units. And honor have conquered. By the way, I'm re recruiting a lot of units here. We're going to hit the black gate from this position. So now... I'm going to stick you! Yeah, they're sending more reinforcements. I guess going for uh, Kirith Ongol. Oh, it looks like it's actually under siege. Let's check this out. Your will, my yes. Oh wow, Gondor is actually sieging them out. Ah, they have already gotten Minas Morgul. Mor is actually standing on their last legs now, which means we can just send our troops up this way. If we attack Durthang, these guys might be interested in attacking you. us over here. I'm actually going to ban these guys because they can't Lord, reach the city in time. Let's just clear out Durthang. Yes, over here we were trying to buy Seregos. We gotta find a nice deal. We could give them Tharband. Because that would make our borders a little bit better. I guess. I'm gonna stick you! But once we have defeated all of these places, Mother still has this settlement down here, yeah. Which is kind of stupid, so we might need to send a force into the lands of the Vyaks. Alright, but that is probably it for this turn, let's just build this and repair, because we brought down a wall. And else we are making so much money. The winner is really a real money maker, to be honest. But of course... For each pot we now build around the Sea of Rune, we're getting like 500 coins more a turn. It's ridiculous how overpowered those uh, 
those parts are. I'm going to demonstrate it and show how much it gives you. And that is basically just because you multiply each trade and it just gets multiplied and multiplied and such. But we definitely want to get Serigos so that Baladuin now will border with our other settlements. Yes, my lord. Fourth win is already lord on his way. As you see, we with took uh, Tharban, as I told. Ah, Mathak is right here. What is hoping to achieve, I do not know. Your orders, my lord. We shall engage. He is going to get a large garrison though, and we actually don't have the forces here. We don't even have any infantry. So we're just going to hope that they will soon attack us. And in the meantime, I'm just going to let these guys recruit and then we'll attack the Black Gate. But yeah, I'm going to demonstrate the ports I was talking about. So, let's see. Now it's like, yeah, we're going to make a lot more money. For some reason. Ah, uh, it's probably because of some other ports. I think we need to do it like this. No, I don't know why that didn't register. If any of you guys know why that didn't register, please tell me in the comment section. Usually that should register. Uh, we can get some Athala Rangers. We actually do want to get those. And in Lest, we can get the Regent's Bogan in not too long. 10 missile attack, that's pretty, pretty, pretty good. Oh uh, yeah, we were actually recruiting someone already. That's wonderful. So hopefully we're going to see some more Elites today. I think we're building... Yeah, we're building over here. And in Mistran, it's almost done, of course. Getting those Cavalrymen, I think they're pretty overpowered. So that's going to be interesting. Let's get these guys closer. And we need to make some deal with Kando here. Let's just buy some map information because that will make our relations a little bit better. I don't think we need to give that much. Uh, let's see how this is. That's balanced. Yeah, that's fine. And let's give us Seragost. And we'll give you Tharband. Tharband is here. Alright. That's very demanding. I think Seragos is just so wealthy. And map information. 30,000. That's still very demanding. So it goes, like, just check how it would compare to Mistrand, for example. It's still very demanding. I don't think we have much hope in getting this settlement, to be honest. I have no idea how, that, why that is. I think they're making a lot of money, but more than Mistrand, that, that's really weird. They're making 4,500 though. Ah, uh, that's no wonder. It's actually just Santa Anui of our settlements which makes more at this point, I think. Dang, we're really Mr. Moneymaker over here. That's actually very annoying. Because it fucks up our border, surfer language. And by your command. And they will hold this and just we gotta march through the lands all the time. That's so stupid. Our borders look worse and they're getting so much money. Wow. Yeah, that's really annoying, actually. Now, we could probably recruit some of these as well and send with this force. And elsewhere, I'm pre-building most stuff Your just so we don't have to watch Lord. that. I think we do want to send this diplomat to Gondor, though. Yes. We want an alliance, of course. And I let's try if we can I buy do that. If only at I least could. Minas Morgul. Let's hope they have not taken Kirtongol so that we can snatch it from them. But once yes, Fourth Wind start besieging Morigost, we'll be fine in this part of the world. Yes, my lord. My lord. And I don't want to war with um, with um, with the Varags either. Really stupid that they took out Serigost. And seeing how wealthy it is, I don't think we're going to get a trade for it either. If we could 
give them like 40,000, it would pay itself in 10 turns. So I'm just going to see how much they would want for it, to be honest. Considering how wealthy it is, it's a very nice investment. And we do have the money. We make like 20,000 turn almost. Yeah, at least 10,000. Your orders, my lord. It doesn't really look like they're going to do much over here. I'm tempted to just leave. Yes, my lord. Orders. I'm gonna yeah, these guys are you. on their way. I'm gonna uh, could we catch Malthak outside the city? Your orders, my lord. No, As he will not. Command, All right, let's just siege honor, these guys out. Victory. We shall engage. We shall prevail. All right, we got yes. the Regent Boga now. Let's just send them straight. Towards uh, the Black Gate, actually. Yes. We can go no further today. All right, let's try to actually one more time. Just try to buy. Ah, uh, that was stupid. Just let's try to buy Seragost. Yes, my lord. And here they have like this is also yeah they have two temple units here, which will not be easily. Your order, Put the side. We'll definitely need some of, yeah, probably some yes, of the Thorn Guard. Orders. My lord. And let's Will, bring, lord. let's see behind the cavalry. Will, my lord. But those two units is not enough, not nearly. Let's leave another of these. Yeah, that should actually be fine. Splitting up. My lord. Your orders, my lord. But is this force enough to go here? No, it's definitely not. Yes, my lord. We should send some of these Will, forces north, I think. Your I think we should just keep sieging them out for now. Assembling a mighty host. And our spies right here. Let's check how the wind is doing. We don't want these to knock over here though, but we do have the forces here. I don't think that's a problem actually. And these guys are also on their command. way. Yes. By your command. Your will, my lord. And we have more forces coming in. But I do not think we need to recruit a lot more over here now. I think we're going to get the units we need. Alright, one more turn until the Knight Sables is built. That's going to be awesome. And here it's Lawal. Sand Anui, we're building this. Carvalal as well, we'll get these guys. Wow. We should be able to upgrade the Burka soon, yeah. Let's end the turn once again. So I guess it's kind of up to you who you want me to attack now. Uh, except for Gondor and such. We could go for Harad and Aradunaim and, and like someone suggested that we can end the campaign in Umbar, which is a nice idea. Uh, but we could also go towards Dol Guldor. Like, it's up to you. But the south would probably be quite interesting, to be honest. Just seeing some massive armies do some heavy work in the south is pretty nice. Alright, let's just group these guys together. Captain Rick is on his way. And these guys, yeah, they might actually... Now we'll not have enough to make them I'm gonna stick, you. stick together and attack. Your orders, my lord. All right, Krishna can just do what he wants. We'll be able to do some damage on him. Ah, uh, I'm actually tempted to go straight for Kirith Ongol instead yes, now. My lord. Defeat Krishna and then take Kirith Ongol. Snatch it before Gondor can take it. That would be useful. Now I need, and it would be useful for these guys to actually attack us I'm here. Five. Yeah, they're going to have like this many units, but that's, order, if we leave a couple of these units, we should be able to Let's send order. these guys Yeah, that's fine. Let's send these guys up here yes. and just attack Krishna and then later. start besieging these guys yes, my lord. My lord. But we should probably send a like, little bit more forces well, as well we still have two units of cavalry here, and we have a lot of crossbows. Yeah, we can send one more unit here. Gotta keep them there for now. Let's see now. 
Karvarad and Mistrand. All right. Let's take a look right here. I can't see anyone. Was it just a regular? Or we probably don't have... Yeah, we don't have the culture. Oh, that sucks. All right, Karvarad. We should have the culture over here. There we go. Paladins of the Witnacourt. These guys look pretty sick. Gotta compare them to some of the Dalamrath units. I don't have their stats on, on my head. Alright, on top of my head. Let's get the Thumb. Let's get the Thumb. And let's just yes, try to Lord. trade with the, the Varags of Khand. Let's see here. If they give us Seragost. If we pay all our money, like, I'm honestly willing to do it because we're going to make it in, like, a couple of turns. It's still very demanding. That's just ridiculous. What if we do regular tribute? 10,000 for 10 turns. <laughs> wow. That's still very demanding. I don't think we're going to be able to actually trade that. That's really, really yes, weird. My lord. Never experienced Lord, that before. I cannot do that. Would you wish to speak to me? Have a taste of my... Your order. All right, Lord. these guys will get the garrison, but we can't do anything about it. In Varfest, we now have a force. Let's just get a couple more units before we attack. I guess these guys would be nice. And we are getting units in Ossineri, was it? Yeah, we have them already. My Lord. Yes. Yeah, we're just going to attack uh, soon. Yeah. Soon enough. My Lord. And we do have more enforcements. So that we can just keep pushing down south once necessary. We might actually... I think the Vags hold over here. Harad, it says they hold Theodore's, but we'll see what the case is. My Lord. My Lord. Your will, my Lord. Now, attacking over yes, here is Lord. probably wise, but... We can just have them here. We have the forces we need over here to deal with the ones over here, so... Let's just end the turn. So I am going to do like what we did in the Erebor campaign, just building up a large stack with just elites and have some fun. I think that's what you want to do in the, in the late game, just having fun. Ah, oh, they're going for the plan. That's just wonderful. That's just going to allow us to get rid of these buggers. Yeah, 2,000, about 2,200. And it's just trash. We're going to be able to maul Malthak and Lundish. I'm just going to fight this battle off camera. I don't see any point showing it. I'll be right back. And we crush them utterly. Let's see who got the most kills. It was indeed a thorn guard. Good job. We just took a position high up into the mountain or a large, large hill. And the forces of Mordor had to climb all the way up and we had the perfect angle on their troops with our crossbows. So that was really nice indeed. What is this depicting? It looks like a seagull. All right, and let's get rid of that. Ah, uh, they're probably coming for Yrsh Estorad now, yeah. But we will have taken Morigost, so that is of no concern. And we do have the cavalry up there as well. Wow, we're making so much money from all these provinces. Mordor have just spent all their money, and we could just come and harvest everything. Even when we are exterminating these places, they still are in perfect condition for us. We have 70,000 now. Resistance is futile. Yeah, why not? New mission, Kingdom of Gondor. Yes, we are supposed to do that As anyways. So that's fine. Let's see here, nothing we can ruin. Let's just get the standing stones right away. Ah, uh, there's more peace now. Lunduth and... yeah. Not too much of a concern. 
Let's hope that Girishnak attacks sooner or later. I don't really want to stop that siege. Let's just put these guys in here. And we'll yes, allow us, uh, ourselves will, to leave behind these and just head up. We'll be there in two turns. The that's just going to be yeah, tomorrow. that's going to be enough, I think. But at Gwyn now have the Thum. I'm just going to go straight for the Hero Shrine, just get the culture up really quickly. Because this will act as an important recruitment center. We got some Athal Rangers in Mistran. Cool. However, we do not have any upkeep here. My lord, as you wish. We are largest faction once again. That's wonderful. Yes, Let's my lord. Meet Gondor. Without question, if only I could. Why? Ah, stupid, stupid diplomat. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. I don't think they're going to rise up if I attack Gishnak. I don't. I just think he's going to run away. So I do not really want to risk that. However, these guys will be ready in one turn, I think. Yeah. That will be a sufficient force. And then I thought I can just act as the... As the troops um, defending the settlement. These guys will be pretty far off, so I'm going to wait a little bit. Let's see, it was in Karvarad. Yeah. Definitely looking forward to using these guys. Wow. Ah, we got some um, Regent's Spear Guard and some Regent's Axe Guard up here. Let's get them right away. Can we recruit anything anywhere else? Not sure. In the Burka, still not going to be able to upgrade it just yet. It's probably in these settlements around here that we are building... Building the stables and such. Let's see. In Wildfest. Yeah, getting the Sables here as well. That is going to be a nice recruitment center actually. Because it's very close to the vest. My lord. Stupid. And what about Mistrand? We now recruit. We just build the ship right. I'm actually going to wait. We can prioritize um, units before um, our economy now. Because our economy is blossoming. Like there's no end to it. Your will, my lord. Your orders, my lord. Kirith Ungol is completely left alone now, though. My lord. Oh, we should have sent someone there. I don't think we you. have yes, the range. My lord. Your will, my lord. Your will, my lord. Yes. I'm actually going to. Wait, yeah, they're going to be there in two turns. I don't want Gonna just snatch that from us, because if we will have to. I do want to get Minas Morgul, and after all, we are going to need to to trade. If they get Kirithong, we'll have to buy both supplements, and that's just going to be so costly. Have a taste of my blade. Your orders, my lord. All right, let's end the turn again. This campaign wasn't that uh, advanced as I thought it was though. It was really easy. But I guess if we rushed a little bit earlier, it might have been a lot more difficult. But at so early in the game, it's almost impossible to rush rune. I guess we could have done it like five or six turns prior to what we did and make it a little harder. But I don't see us. Yeah, it could probably have been more of a challenge. I'm not sure when the time is that you can kind of rush rune. Because if you do it too early, you're just not capable of doing it because rune have so many troops and places and such. No new buildings. Got, all right, let's head out this army now. Let's just leave behind these guys. Let's hit the black gate right away. Gears are just still staying there. These guys are fine. Yes, my lord. But now yes, with Forthwin, the game is the Marching table has changed. Uh, these guys might actually be able to hit these guys. That was stupid. Captain Rick can deal with it though. We have to deal with these armies and then just hit the Black Gate or Kirthongo. 
Yes, my lord. We're just going to siege these guys out, I think. One more turn and we get stables here as well. And it's only like one turn or two turns. One turn, wonderful. And two turns here. Two turns until we get the barracks. But that will only give us, yeah, it's going to give us the same as we did up here. We have a full fort over here, actually. I guess we could just swap these guys out for two of these guys. We only have three upkeep there, so let's do it like this. How do we get the Darwinian Armsman though? I'm a little bit curious about that. I'm not actually sure about that. We'll have to look that up. With the court. Okay. But just look at the trade going on over here. You see why it's so wealthy. I think we can just end the turn once again. Now, as of what campaigns I will play next, uh, I am actually thinking in the Northern Dune line. I have not played that faction before. And it sounds like a challenge and I would like to to build up the Kingdom of Honor once again. And I know a lot of you guys want to see that campaign. And like some of you argue that I should wait for the next version, but the next version is like one or two years away. And I will have been able to play through all the campaigns by that time. So it's of no concern. I will probably just... I'm going to decide one faction. And I'm going to let you guys decide one faction. But I'm tempted to do Northern Dundine. And perhaps either a Varax of Khand or the Lamroth. Or the Whale of Anduin. I haven't decided. Ah, uh, look I'm at this. It's so typical you. for Mordor to just do this, just mix up all mind. their forces like this. Alright, let's see what they got over here. Ah, G under Dawn Death. He's the temple, yeah. I guess we could actually bring him down with these two units. I think it should actually be possible. And if it's not possible, these guys will be right, right there. Ah, there we go. We have these guys up here now, and in Kalvarad we have the Paladins of the Witness Court. Now, where should we send them, though? I guess just sending them straight to the front isn't too bad. They're pretty fast moving, it looks like. Let's just stay on this bridge, in case they decide to attack us. Varfes, we can also recruit some of these Paladins now. Ah, uh, we still haven't, don't have the culture, of course. Been a little bit too quick, it looks like. Yes, my lord. All right, get to Gondor. Ah, oh, come on! Impossible. Wow. My lord. All right, that's so lord, stupid. My lord. Now we should actually just defeat all of these armies yes, surrounding I'm here. That's just going to be so boring. Glory, honor. Yeah, Victory! it's going to be a complete slaughter of these guys. I am probably just going to do that off camera and I'll be right back. I just auto sold it and they went to this fort and I'm just going to siege them out right there. I don't really care about them. What about these guys though? We should just wait, to be honest. Still sanding stones in these places. And Captain Rick will arrive shortly enough. Your order, my lord. Six more turns. And you guys. They actually hold some region up here. Dantalad, I suppose. I do want to get a spy over here, though. My lord. Yeah, we'll just move him afterwards. My lord. I'm actually going to cheat this uh, Diplomath yes, over here, just because that bug is so stupid. I'm going to show you how you can how you can do this, I guess. But ah, oh, he's the same name as Nurva, that could actually yes, cause some trouble. Uh, Alright, we're just going to let him walk the way again. 
Yeah, we're soon up to 100,000. Now, getting someone... Nobody has taken this place Set yet. Ready. That's weird. But let's uh, actually bring down Ships this ready. fleet. That was what we were supposed Engaging to do. Finally, we sunk it. After so many troubles. That's wonderful. Ellen's Ferry is not taken. So why not just go and expand northwards? Not no see. I don't see any reason for why not. Let's just send some trash. We can actually use this fleet for that ships purpose. Ready. We do not need any more ships That's now. Fine. We only need one ship. Because all the rebel ships are gone. And we'll get some more upkeep here. In the Burka. There we go. One more turn here. And high palins. Oh yeah, that's just the bodyguard units, of course. My lord. You can actually just head over here. We'll have use for you eventually. Your orders, my lord. Another turn, which we're just going to end very shortly. As opposed to when you have taken out the Eastlings, Mother is no threat at all to you because you can feel so many units. But we're definitely going to buy Minas Morgul and get the Minas Ethel Gardens. That's one of my favorite units. Ah, they are actually going to attack us. That's going to be interesting to see if uh, two units of Matathorn crossbowmen can defeat you in the Dawn Death. Alright, I will actually see you on the battlefield for this one because I think it's uh, it's interesting. Alright, so we are here. Now, the thing is, the Temple Wars is so vulnerable to crossbow bolts, of course. So we're going to see how it works out. They start with 76. Let's see if we can bring them down with these two units. In the start, we're probably not going to bring down a lot. But then eventually, we're going to bring down lots and lots of Temple Wars. And we see one left so far. And we're going to try to hit them in the back. That is going to be our strategy right here. I think we should have these guys on just running around and just having fun. And now we can stop and you can come right back and you can hit the enemy. But you see how overpowered these guys are going to be against the Temple Wars. So using cavalry forces to bring down small garrisons. We have done that a lot before. In the first episode in the Isengard campaign, we do that to basically bring down Rohan in a matter of 15 turns. Oh jeez, come on, get out of there. If these guys get a charge in, that's going to be deadly. But of course we have these guys just shooting them straight into their backs. Let's just get them over here. Let's shoot them now. And then we just shoot them from both sides. And in the end we can just use these uh, forces as cavalry and just end them that way. Oh jeez. That was rather stupid. These guys will cause some fear so it's probably good. We, we could lose it if they get our general of course. But there we go, now two units just sending pure crossbows into these guys, crossbow bolts. Let's just get a little bit further back and just keep firing at them. There we go. I think Kirith Ongol is our boys and girls. That's wonderful. Then we're going to get Minas Morgul and from that point we should be able to either just go to the south or go for Dol Guldur or just end the campaign. It's kind of up to you from my own reasoning. We don't need to continue this campaign for a very long time. But I do of course want to see the, the new units. And I know a lot of you guys enjoy this campaign so if you guys would like me to go for Umbar, like sure I would do it. Alright, let's get these guys out of here. Getting some friendly fire now I think. Our men have fought long and are becoming tired. And it's going to be a little bit challenging bringing down the last of these guys. So I'm just going to go for the town center and we'll be able to bring them down. We could actually have done that, just going for the town center with one unit in the early game. Just like trick these guys all the way over here and then just taking the town center. That would actually have been working out. 
These guys are out of ammo now, so I guess we could just charge them in. Yeah. That's going to be the end of Kirith Ongol, and Our this might be the, the last uh, Nazgul. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think they have a lot of them left at this point. These guys are definitely better than us when we charge them. You see, they're going to get a lot more kills than we are. Even when we are outnumbering them this heavily. Let's just send them over here and just trick them into following us to the end of the days. And give them another charge. It should be efficient. Yeah, two left. Just bring them down now. And he's now stun locked and can't do anything. And that is it. Now, so soon enough, I don't like. I do want to continue these faction guides, but I don't really want the Northern Dune Knight to be next before I've actually played the faction. And I kind of want them to do them in some kind of order. But I, I guess I could do some other factions that I've already played and make faction guides on them if you guys want. The enemy uh, just give me vanquished. some feedback on that, please. This is a great victory right. worthy of only Let's exterminate to Kirith Ongol. And then we have established a nice border with Gondor. And let's just buy Minas Morgul. Recall it to Minas Ethil. If Gondor will allow us. I think the Minas Ethil Gardens is the only unit you can get from other places. Like, you can't get any other faction units from other factions except for those. And of course you have the Athal Rangers. But they're kind of shared between Victory us and the L, to be honest. There we go. We have conquered, my lord. Mod is just struggling at this point. Once we hit the Black Gate, all the troops inside of Mordor is going to lose hope. And these guys are going to be crushed very swiftly by fourth win. All right, let's see here. Let's get the weaponsmith skilled. Let's just repair this and let's get the standing stones. We actually have the barracks here, which is nice. Orders. Send this Can't guy over here. We and where is our diplomat no. now? Let's just send him yes. straight over here. If only I. We should be on friendly relations with Gondor. So so, but they're very trustworthy. Tired of ordering your own forces about, eh? I don't want to attack Gondor, that would be stupid. Barracks in Lest. Alright. Let's get these boys. Up here we could just recruit more units. We're already getting a couple here. Let's get these and yeah, take, I think it's Kondovan. I don't entirely remember the name. Your will, my lord. And these guys are now on their way. As you wish. Blackgate is yes. within reach. And it will fall swiftly. To war there we go. Now what will Ishmog do? Yes. He can't do very much. We shall I'm going to alter all this or fight off wars. camera and I'll be right back. There we go. Let's get rid of them. And I guess we can do this again. And there we go. Gone they are. Yes, And we'll have to see some mouthfuls again. Alright. Yeah, I don't really care about these units. I guess we could just do it like this. Wow, really? Alright, I'll have to fight. I'll fight these battles off camera and I'll see you right after. Alright, some of them escape, but that is of no concern. Durthang will fall in five turns, and we'll take Moran very swiftly. I'm probably just going to siege it out for the meantime, and then I'm going to attack it from the other side with fourth win, and they will have no hope left. Let's just lose these two. Let's get a Thumb. We're getting the Thumb here as well. And this army will just be an addition to this army, I guess. We don't really need it at this point, but it's fine. Let's just get the... We do need some catapults, actually. So why not? 
Uh, these guys have some nice armor upgrades. My lord, yes. We can go no further today. Your will, my lord. Let's just wait for the next turn, and then we'll ship out all of these troops and attack the settlement over here. Ah, uh, Erebor did fall, didn't it? Actually, when I think about it. My lord. Let's see what happened up there. That's actually, uh, we just abandoned all of our ships. That's stupid. I do need this ship to sweep the units, but let's have one of those. But I do want your opinion on what factions I should attack now, or whether I should just end the campaign. Uh, like, we do need to meet the victory conditions, of course, but I don't think we're so far away. And it's not going to be a challenge at this point, of course. And going for the south, it's probably quite fun, but I don't know. We'll see about it. Dolgoldor, definitely a boring opponent, I think. Not what I really want. Just stack spam all the way. At least in the south, we can lead, meet some... Late game elites from the different uh, factions. Moran besieged. Wonderful. Ilanin, we now got stables there as well. So let's get these boys. That piece didn't last for long. Alright, let's just send all of these guys over here. Your ferry. And you guys meet up with them. I would fight ah, your people. Allies is here. Oh, they actually took it right under. No. Still, it's over here. Let's get them over here then. And then we can actually take this ship up and see if Erbor is under Gundabad's influence. Yes, my lord. So these guys are just sieging out for the yes, meantime. We'll talk with Gondor. Their dignitary. Your will, my lord. And that's basically my lord. it, I think. Your will, my I don't know how long this episode has been going on for, but I think we have reached the end of this episode. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys for the next episode.